Hello friends, this is Harvey Mundan. Welcome to the HD Sense 4 versus Cyanogen Mod 9 shootout. We have HTC Sense running on the HTC One X, the quad core flagship phone, and the Cyanogen Mod 9 running on the Samsung Galaxy S2. Let's have a look at the software details first of all. Uh, we go into the HTC One X. Uh, I must say I find this settings key rather annoying right up there in the corner. Uh, of course you can access it from a widget uh, but so much easier uh, just by pressing the settings key and taking you to system settings. So first point there goes to the CyanogenMod. mod. Let's go to uh, about phone and have a look at software information. Okay, so let's have a look at uh, how the menu systems work. They're very similar from this aspect. Uh, this does have a special little pull apart when you reach to the end. Uh, I'm beginning to find that a little annoying uh, when it's in menus which don't even scroll. Uh, I just prefer the standard Android way of just putting a, a little glow at the top or the bottom of the screen there. Just see a little glow. Um, the first and major thing I dislike about Sense is the lack of any notification bar shortcuts. Here at the top you have this scrollable power widget which you can edit, you can add functions, take out functions, customize it to suit your needs. Um, also uh, if you long press it will take you into that particular settings. I find that very convenient, very useful, something that you're using all the time. Uh, whereas here on the sense uh, there is no such option. Of course you have uh, very beautiful widgets uh, for your home screen which uh, have those functions but it's just not as convenient and as accessible as having it in your notification tray. Also, this status bar here is not customizable at all, uh, whereas in the Cyanogen mod, if we go into settings again, we go to system status bar we find we have a variety of settings show clock or not AM PM style uh, we can change the battery to just an icon there or uh, even change the signal bars to text so lots and lots of different options for the customizing the status bar. Where HTC Sense does win is its widgets. Uh, widgets really are unbeatable. Uh, very functional, very beautifully uh, implemented. Uh, the design is fantastic. Um, and there's many, many uh, different types of widgets and the way of applying them also is very good uh, you can have them all showing here and just scroll through them and apply them to whatever desktop you like or you can uh, just select say uh, the calculator widgets and it will just give you those so it makes it very easy to find. Um, 
other ones for example uh, mail widgets different types and all you do is you just drag to the screen that you want and then you can continue dragging widgets until you've filled up all the screens you want of course you can add apps and you can add shortcuts no problem uh, really great way of uh, customizing your desktops. Uh, Cyanogen Mod has a more uh, traditional way of uh, customizing desktop by a long press on widgets and then you can scroll through them uh, you apply a single widget and then you have to come back and do it again. Uh, alternatively uh, you can go into the app drawer and apply widgets from there so you can see the widget but I still don't think it's as good as the HTC way of doing it so point to HTC there the uh, launcher though uh, does lack some functions here on HTC uh, for example it doesn't have the scrolling dock uh, like that um, it doesn't have the infinite scroll which I think every launcher uh, should have. Um, of course I am using uh, Apex launcher on this but that's the beauty of Android you can choose which launcher you want if you don't like the stock one um, but if you do change the HTC launcher of course you uh, don't get the uh, beautiful widgets the helicopter view you can have on both but uh, on the apex launcher here you can't do anything with the panels you can't uh, move them around or add or subtract them whereas you can here so that's one more thing to HTC let's have a look at the lock screens we uh, turn off these phones here and turn them back on. We find the XTC has very well implemented lock screen. You can choose to drag one of those in to directly open it, but you can't change you can't change these shortcuts. They are set, the four shortcuts there. Uh, whereas on the Cyanogen Mod lock screen, you have uh, recently the weather implemented. It's very nice. Again, you have the shortcuts uh, and you can change around the shortcuts that you want to use on the lock screen. So that's a point to Cyanogen. Uh, one thing on the lock screen that HTC has so that Cyanogen doesn't yet is notifications if we have a look and call our HTC phone Okay, so we have here notification, missed call, and we can just drag that straight in and open to the dialer there. Unfortunately, no notifications here on Cyanogen Mod yet, so if we go to our dialer and we call. and let's go and there we have the lock screen we can see we've missed a call at the top here but there's no notification on the screen itself and that's the same for uh, texts or anything else uh, so that should be implemented in the future but not yet 
One of the things that I use most on the phone is the calendar. And if we take a look at the calendars on these phones, if I can uh, find where I've put the calendar widget. There we go. Uh, we find month view on the calendar is much better here. The, uh, this is actually stock ICS calendar and you can see a lot more detail. The view, month view of the calendar doesn't give you any detail in the days at all. Lastly, I'll just give you a couple of examples of the options which we have in CyanogenMod which aren't available in Sense. If we go into our system settings and first we can have a look at display there. We have the standard Android options such as uh, stay awake time, uh, brightness, uh, sleep time, etc. Uh, if we have a look at the display here we find uh, a whole lot of other options to change the filter settings, uh, use custom uh, dim levels and filtering, things like that. Uh, if we have a look at the lock screen, we have just the choice of various lock screens there, standard. Um, if we take a look here at lock screen, we find we can change the delay after screen timeout. I uh, have set there for five minutes after the screen times out, delay after it's turned off, and various other very useful options, changing the slider shortcuts, as mentioned before. And those things, uh, even sound options, you find more sound possibilities, volumes for example, uh, more on the Cyanogen mod software. So in conclusion I would say the Sense UI is a very beautiful UI, uh, the widgets are lovely, uh, it's well integrated and smooth. Um, but it does lack a lot of options and functionality which you will find in Cyanogen Mod. Um, it's not as polished yet as Sense, but uh, if you are a power user and you like to tweak and uh, modify various options, it's definitely uh, the winner in this case. Thank you very much.